But there is good news. Jezebel shuts down. Well, it's good news for some. Bad news for us. Well, bad news. We don't really use our articles very much. But, but here's the thing. If Jezebel shuts down, who's going to be in charge of getting people deplatformed? Who's going to be in charge? I know. It's... I guess those people can kind of just do it on their own. I guess they're all going to be like, I guess to we're, all, we're all indie journalists. They have to go now freelance tic- canceling. Yeah, TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> just like it's, it'll just go back to being a hobby. You There's know? a Nazi epidemic coming out, and yeah. these people are just closed, shutting down shop. Shutting down Jezebel. Yeah, just like that. It's just done. Rip Jezebel. I was hanging out with one of my buddies that uh, uh, works in media, and it is funny, some of these companies too, because it's like the, probably the biggest problem, and this happens in like campaigns too, but when you have like a, a, a super like eat the rich attitude, mm-hmm. well, it's like lo and behold, those people that like don't want to work that hard. Of course. <laughs> but it's like you have, a, you have all these people that are just like take down the ridge all that sort of shit and then your boss comes in and they're just like well oh, this billionaire is telling me what to do and the guy's like dude our company's going under yeah yeah, like, yeah. you're like you're gonna be out of work I'm losing money on this company and they're like oh the fucking billionaire <laughs> wants us to work like why don't you go fuck yourself I'm quiet quitting yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got the whole staff's like quiet quitting because <laughs> yeah. okay. they if your attitude is like you know everyone that's like a runs a company's evil sort of thing you yeah. know what I mean <laughs> and then and they're the first person or people who are like the thing closes down and they're like journalism is under attack right now <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah they're like we all got laid off who's gonna do this journalism and you're kind of like well you refuse to do more articles or whatever Dude, honestly like oh, so very like most of the journalism at this point is just like some guy on twitter who just with his phone at this point like just going it does feel like it. that's like most of actual journalism right now is just some person on twitter who's well, like, no journalists are curators they essentially curate like what videos went viral but they shouldn't be that's not what the definition of it is like cnn like or whatever fox or like they should be doing journalism like where it's just like difficult and but it's hard because i guess there is something to be said about like some of them are how do they happen to be in the right spot at the right time it's like they get well no it's just like like the guy who gets the picture of superman you know (laughs) well no there's there's this guy in uh new york city who i follow on twitter his name's like uh viral new york news or something and he just like is on twitter like he probably has like a police scanner and they go something's going on and then he like runs over there and so and then he just films it all and he posts on twitter whereas it's a lot of the shit you've like people have seen in new york so at, at jezebel they would probably have something like that and they'd have the police scanner and they go oh my god there's a crime over there and they go fucking pigs yeah exactly you know, <laughs> you know cops are enforcing more crimes yeah and you go that gives me an idea for a story yeah exactly yeah, about how there's too much too much enforcement of crime and we need to defund the police <laughs> something, something like, like that or they listen over the radio and hopefully like hears a cop say something like sexist <laughs> you know, like yeah. accidentally says something sexist. He goes, <laughs> like, like, there's uh, we need uh, someone over two cars. And he goes, thanks, Toots. He goes, did you hear what you just said? <laughs> yeah, that's what they're listening for. Yeah. Well, I guess you're sort of right, though, that it is mostly just people online, which is probably good. I yeah, guess, it's good. It's just like, uh, I, literally, what I want is if something happens, I just want someone who happened to be there to just to pull out his phone and record it. And then I'll decide what's going on, I guess. The guy who runs the company um, basically they were in talks with a bunch of different buyers and because a lot of these companies when they go under they uh they just keep getting bought and sold and repackaged and then one pl- one one big thing owns nine and then there's like you know a lot of these big blogs you're just like one per one company owns like 45 of them or whatever yeah, right yeah but um they were <laughs> they, they couldn't find anyone to buy enough but it's like it's just like the idea of the guy who works at jezebel going and he was like talking to buzzfeed or whatever and it's like how much are you looking for like ah oh, like a million kajillion probably like they probably <laughs> yeah, just they overvalue they have overvalued themselves so much probably like, you make it what are the revenues like and he's like revenues oh, sorry what was that word what, what is that i don't uh, is that a journalistic term i'm not clear it went full of, i'll tell you what they're worth a fucking bucket of tape you got, <laughs> i'll tell you what you guys are worth over there You're someone worth- will probably try and I, I don't know but you can't really rebrand that because that just became fashionable for like the rah rah i don't think you can stuff. do much of rebranding yeah and like, what are you going to go back to? Like, just like a feminism thing? Well, the guys that fire everyone, too, they have to act like they're so empathetic about it. So he goes, a few decisions over the course of my career have been excruciating, and I want to know, I want to make this clear. This is in no way a reflection of the Jezebel editorial team. This is what 
they're sort of saying when they fire everyone. But the guy, the guy just he has to keep going to Jezebel and making these speeches, being like, "There's nothing more brave than what we are doing. You're gone." <laughs> and honestly, <laughs> the, right. we have a mission and we are accomplishing it. And what you have all done here, you two gone and. <laughs> This is just the hardest thing. You are so valued. You're gone. And so they have to just keep firing everyone, but they have to be like, my heart wrenches. Oh, of course. I mean, I'm sure some of them are, I don't know. They're probably like the guys who work there are kind of pussies. Yeah. 